Hey guys, Clem from Honeybee Social, and today I'm gonna to go over the three predictions that I have for Instagram. So I think there's three key things that are gonna happen on Instagram, and one of them is, is that we're gonna see more features come out on Instagram. I feel like Instagram is feeling the crunch and the pinch of TikTok. TikTok has surpassed them in downloads in the last year, and it's becoming the viral social media channel of the year, or maybe even of the decade, because you know it's 2020, it's a new decade. Um, so Instagram is now gonna have to start playing catch up and being able to offer things that you can find on TikTok. So maybe one of those things could be that you can put music on your Instagram stories. Right now, that is only limited to creator accounts. Why would that be only limited to creator accounts? Why can't we do it as a pro account or even as a personal account? Um, so maybe that's one feature that they might offer, but they might offer some other features as well to make your videos a lot more engaging or visually pleasing to the eye. Um, who knows, but I think because of TikTok, Instagram has now woken up and gone, right, we're not the top social media channel anymore. We need to actually keep up with this and we need to start creating some interesting features for our users. Number two, so Instagram shopping has become a really big deal um, and I think it's only gonna become a bigger deal. The key is, is to keep people on the channel as long as possible. That is the main objective of any social media channel and you would have heard that in many of my videos that I say that that is the main objective because come on, they want you to be zooming through the feed as much as possible. So in order to keep you on the channel, they need to be able to offer things to you besides scrolling through the feed and liking a particular post, which is why Instagram shopping came out. So now um, I believe that Instagram shopping is gonna be highly optimized to the point that you are going to be able to check out. Um, you can buy and check out and purchase and all that cool stuff right off of Instagram. And they'll be able to optimize that for businesses, small or large alike. What they need to do is make sure that it's really easy, not only for the user, but for the business owner themselves to be able to upload products. That is a problem in itself because being owned by Facebook, and if you are a creative stu creator studio user like me, you do find it actually quite buggy, and um, it's not exactly play ball with you at all times, and so they need to make the user experience from both perspectives really easy to use. So if you have any tips on how to use Creator Studio or what you use to optimize your Instagram shopping and stuff, let me know. I would love to hear from you. And number three has to do with the big a word, authenticity, that has been the trending word for the last like two years. And you know what, it's getting kind of annoying, but unfortunately this word is not gonna go away when it comes to social media marketing. Now when I say authenticity is gonna be um, a big thing for Instagram in 2020, what I mean by that is that brands are going to be held to account and they are going to need to look authentic. They are not gonna be able to ambulance chase a particular topic or issue anymore. They're going to have to show that they are people and the people behind their brands. Um, Instagram users and social media users alike now really are looking for those genuine, truthful, honest, funny stories. They are not entirely always interested in just what you're selling. They want to see the story behind it. And so brands really need to start doing that quite a lot, especially as local businesses need to do that in order to get their um, engagement going and get people to really love their brand. So those are my three predictions for Instagram in 2020. I would love to hear what you thought of them or you know what you think is gonna happen on the channel when it comes to bringing out new products or what you think the trend is going to be on Instagram for this year. If you wanna start that conversation, feel free to write something down in the comments or even follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is honeybeesocial underscore AU. I would love to hear from you and see what content you have going for your small business. Till next time, see ya. Have questions or need more information? Head to honeybeesocial.com.au.